I'm up to 40 birds now as seen from the garden with the addition of a house sparrow. Funnily enough that morning I said to my wife we don't get any house sparrows at all not many in the area. The starlings have arrived recently in fact one behind me there while I talk on the ground feeding. They're regular now we've got those every day numerous times and then on that evening I noticed a female house sparrow. We've now seen two. Oh, that was a magpie was it? They come down and scare the birds off. I've noticed two females so that's been great to see. Also the great spotted woodpecker that we had visit for the first time quite recently has now turned into a pair so we've got the male and the female and they come through the day as well. You can tell the sexes apart because the male has a, a bright red patch on the nape of its neck. Uh, green finches, we're getting those regular as well now, so that's great to see. And of course, we've got the staple diet of the blue tits, the grey tits, the coal tits, uh, the robins, the wrens, the dunnocks, well, you name it, they're, they're coming. And it's not unusual to look from the house through the patio window and see up to eight, nine or ten species on the feeding station or on the gar in the garden itself um, at any one time, so that's great. Also added a new mammal as well. I knew there was one there on the front lawn because I could see the footprints and some of the digging that had been taking place at night. What am I talking about? A badger. And I looked out the window, the bedroom window, one uh, well late one evening and I saw a, a badger just passing by so that counts. As far as the garden ponds concerned I haven't done a specific blog on that for a while or blog entry on that for a while but that's coming on very nicely indeed. I've seen a couple of uh, common frogs and I know they're different because of the colour. They're not showing all the while but they are there and the tadpoles, the common frog tadpoles, are now quite big. They will be froglets in due course. And I can add another insect to the list, a mosquito. Fortunately, we don't get malaria in this country. They don't carry that. But the pond itself is now full of malaria larvae. You can see them right at the top surface when the sun's shining. Where are the rod when you need them? They'd soon polish them off. So it's all looking good in the garden. The garden blog, which I will publish on my website. There's also a separate category as well. So if you're interested in the adventures of what's going on in a garden, both front and back, then check that out. It's in the menu.